this is an episode <laughs> of Funny Stories with Ocean, <laughs> and I sound like I have asthma <laughs> because I just got a COVID test, <laughs> and I am Darth Vader. <laughs> Introduce the thing. Welcome to another episode of Funny Stories with Ocean. <laughs> What's up? You got, you got a COVID test? <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, going. I'm going away for the holiday. So oh yeah, that's I'm, right. Uh, I, I, that's why I've been extra yeah, 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 away yeah. from everybody. everybody. I'm it, I'm pretty shocked that you're not going to spend the holidays with me. But well, plans just changed. Yeah, plans is coming off. Changed. Hey, she might you might be able to take her up to the uh, to the, the, the woods, up. like <laughs> in a picnic that you've been wanting to do for the longest. <laughs> well, welcome to another funny stories with Ocean. I'm your host, Ocean, and we got, as always, our co-host, Chrissy Go Bang in the building. Hey, what's y'all. good? Hey, what's up? How was your week? It was okay. How was yours? It was it was it was great. It was a good time. The holidays were good. My Thanksgiving uh was great. It was uh, you know, I ate a lot of food and everything. So I it was ate way uh, too much. You ate way too much? Yeah. I'm about to start working on my workout, is you know, just after now that everything is over with, I'm gonna. Well, be, are you are you fucking enough? Uh, like I haven't started fucking oh, yet. See, either. you I'm, got if you do that like four or five times a week. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Easily. <laughs> shed three four pounds. I see that you have a sweater on today uh, because it's starting to get cold in L.A. It's starting to get cold. I'm gonna need somebody to keep me warm. <laughs> okay. Well, it's lonely can. in these streets, y'all. Well, uh, you know, I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know if our guest can do that, but he might be able to. I don't know. We gotta ask him on camera later. <laughs> on uh but (laughs) you know what i noticed uh and i never did with you uh you becoming the host the permanent co-host of the show yes uh we usually do our entertainment questions but i never got to get to know you and have the audience get to know you okay so i said this week what we're going to do is we're going to have uh instead of doing the entertainment we'll do we'll ask one question because uh, there's a question I want to ask you about. Okay. Uh, but then we'll just start asking questions to get to know you a little bit. Are you up for that? Let's do it. I wrote some down. Uh, no, I was. Uh, Dave Chappelle put out the thing telling everybody to uh, not watch the Dave Chappelle show. Uh, did you see that? I saw that. Okay. What did you think of that? I, I think it's genius because everybody's going to watch the, sh- the show now. No, he doesn't want people to. Yeah, but when you say don't do it, now I want to watch it so I know why. Yeah, but I think everybody has watched the Dave Chappelle show, so yeah. it doesn't even matter. I mean, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Would Netflix you... took it down. Yeah, Netflix oh. took it down. Yeah, because Dave went to them, and I read the article in the oh. interview. He said, "Hey guys, he's, he was more elaborate than this, but he said he said to Netflix, this made me feel bad, right? That you guys did this, and Netflix went, well, we don't want you to make, we don't want you to feel bad, right? So they took that shit down, right? Like that is." Oh. But that's more juice than I have ever seen anyone like. I don't care how big of a star you are. Uh-huh. If you throw hissy fits and shit like that. If you just go to a network. Uh, guys, this makes me feel bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. we don't want you to feel bad. Right, right, so right, we're right. going to take down this fucking huge series. See, I'm lost because I thought it was going to be a new episode or a new something that was going to be dropping. And he didn't want people to watch it. No, so. no, no, no. I didn't no. know it was just the it regular was show. Old, it was his old got stuff. Got it. Got it. Uh, but like I said, I think everybody's watched it. So he's a little yeah. late on that. He's like late. everybody's seen, seen every yeah. episode there ever is. My favorite day. was, um, didn't he used to say like night, night, nigga. <laughs> I say that to dudes all the time. All... Night, night, what do you nigga. say? Night, night, nigga. I really do. Night, Yo, night, nigga. I promise you. Said we... it to me. It said it to you. Night, night, Which nigga. weird. <laughs> I feel we still have to go out so that you can do your French accent. Accent. What is it again that you used to tell dudes? I tell dudes like, oh, like my name is Fa, Fa Pousse. No, 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 Pousse. no. You're saying it wrong. Fa, Fa Pousse, Fa Pousse. It's so funny to me. We got to do that. We have to. And really, uh, just be out there like that. But no, I, he does have a, a lot of juice. Where he's able, he has HBO hasn't taken it down, so that's who he really wants to take it down. All right, all right. That was our first and only question in our entertainment section. All so right. we're going to get to know you. I have some questions uh, for you. Uh, first question: uh, What is your favorite TV show of all time? My favorite TV show uh-huh. Ooh, of all times. I I really love Girlfriends. It's like high, high, high up there. Yeah, 
Girlfriends I'm, I'm gonna was good. I'm gonna roll with girlfriends. I love that show. Girlfriends was real good. Uh, I thought you were talking at first uh, about the Golden Girls, but no, you're talking I about. I do. Thank you for being, being a friend. friend. Yeah, hey, Blanche go hard. Like Blanche travel down the Blanche road and inspired back again. me. That's right. She inspired me from a very young age to yeah. hope. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow up and be a hoe, just like Blanche. Guess who got drunk and spent 175 dollars on an autographed Golden Girls. What? Tell me you did not do that. You ever you ever fuck with eBay and you're like, I'm gonna bid this, and then you bid their high amount, and you're like, man, I hope somebody outbids me for this. Yes. <laughs> and then I, I sobered up and I was like, oh, You're the no, winner. They didn't outbid me. Oh shit. How do I explain this to my accountant? Because yeah. I use company money to do it. $175 autograph Golden Girls. I love it. I love it. I got do you do you put anything in your, your rider when you go out on tour? Uh I I just want like tequila and shit. Okay, so, yeah. so in my rider, right. I have a bowl of green M Ms. Right. Uh a black and white photo of B. Arthur and <laughs> uh ten minutes of silence, no questions asked. I did a college last year. And, I sh- and nobody's ever done that because uh, they know it's a joke. Yeah. I showed up in the green room, a bowl of only green M&Ms, oh a my black gosh. and white photo of B. Arthur, and a stopwatch set to 10 minutes. Oh, wow. And then I had to fly home the next day after the gig, and the fucking TSA opens up the thing at 6 o'clock in the morning. There's a black and white photo of B. <laughs> Arthur with some mayonnaise from my fucking sandwich that came out. So it looked oh, like look fucking like... nutted on this photo of B. Arthur. So like, I don't want to explain this at 6 o'clock in the morning, man. This you is... were just like, let them believe whatever I was they like, believe. Just whatever. Yeah. What, you know it what? Happened. I got some coke in the bottom of this. Whatever it is is going to get this flight happening. Just don't ask me about this. Exactly. All right, next question. Uh, where are you from? Where were you born and raised? Ooh, we're getting real personal. That was Everybody's from Cam- Rancho Cucamonga yeah. is where um, I I spent my time. Is it your time? Are yes. you still out in Rancho Cucamonga? That is none of anybody's business. <laughs> okay. Why don't you people ask come, her for mom's come main name? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Should I, my social security oh, number listen, is... She has it on instagram people can kind of see where you are and at and different she, it, it, i'm just asking them so people oh she can wants to me you. to be abducted i do not okay. want you to be abducted this show will not be great without you and Aww, that's real all right uh our next question is uh what do you wish people would stop asking you <laughs> i wish people would stop asking me for threesomes like <laughs> do they ask you? people ask me for threesomes all the time uh-huh. and like i usually go like oh thank you so much for thinking about me but uh, yeah, I wish people would stop asking me for three cents. <laughs> it's a lot. Y'all. How do they ask you? What do they say? Hey, can you join me in X, Y, or Z? <laughs> like, I, I think that because I have a really open personality, uh-huh. people feel very comfortable being like, hey, will you fuck with us? Or like, hey, it's my man's birthday. Can you show me a few? <laughs> but here's the thing is I'm tired of, especially women, stop asking me to fuck you and your man because he ain't going to come back to you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I will... You put it on. <laughs> I remember that episode you talking about you and fuck all three of the Ball brothers, and they would all have kids together. It would be like cousins, be cousins. brothers. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> is this from like? Is it people when you're like out in the club? People come ask you or like? Are not, you on any dating sites or anything? I'm like not that? on any dating sites. Have you ever it's, been on a dating site? I've done it before. Okay, it, it didn't work out for me. Okay, but it's more so like people who know me. Really, will be like, hey, yeah. Wow. I've always like I've I've had homegirls have been like, man, I've always wanted to eat your pussy. I've always wanted to fuck you. And I'd be like, damn, for real? We've been friends for like 20 years. Did, wait, you have just you... now telling me. <laughs> right. Did you want to say any names of who that would be? No, I'm going to go ahead and pass. Okay. Did you want to DM pass. me? DM me. I'm not, telling, I'm not telling Ocean. Ocean is a snitch. Y'all don't know. Ocean be snitching. You got to be careful what you tell us. It's the thing. It wasn't that I was snitching. I was just a little tipsy. So I was just, you know, when you get tipsy, you just start talking. And Blame blah, blah, it on blah, blah, that blah, blah. Al, al, al. Alcohol. <laughs> right. All right. What's the worst and best thing about being a female? The best thing uh-huh. is getting shit for free. Like you don't you don't really have to pay for things if okay. you're if you're a female. You know, you uh-huh. go out, somebody's gonna get you drinks, they're gonna take you to eat, all that type of stuff. The yeah. worst is being punished for being a female, you know. <laughs> what is every that? every month you need to do you need to do your womanly duty. They, <laughs> that shit is not free by any means. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you pay in dues. You pay in dues. Every month you Every pay month. in dues. Every month they'd be like, bitch, you thought you was just going to get <laughs> bottles of Patron and shit for free? <laughs> Sit your ass down for this week. Every month. Uh, can I ask you a uh, can I ask you a sexual question about that? Go ahead. Okay. Do you do you do you like having sex on your period? Or I've never have... I've never met a nigga that didn't run red lights. Okay. <laughs> I don't like running red lights. You're questionable. I, no, I've had okay. it. I've done it. Yeah. But I don't like it. You don't like I it. I don't like everything. It's extra red. wetness. No, Relax. Yeah, it is extra wetness. Yeah. I remember the, the last yeah, I don't like it though. Like I didn't know she was on her period and yeah. I was just like this, like this, I had sex with this girl and I didn't know she was on her period and I was like this is way more wet than it usually <laughs> is. You just must be really happy to see me and I'm putting it down. Yeah. When I came into the bathroom, it was a crime scene <laughs> on my body. And I was like, this is <laughs> not <laughs> fucking cool. Oh. But it felt good, but this was not cool. I was I jumped in the shower immediately. immediately. See, see. I usually do I usually do the Naeem's joke. Uh, I said our guests, that's our guests today. I usually do Naeem joke where uh I, I she shined them nuts in the uh, in the sink <laughs> <laughs> but oh, no. this time i took a see, full shower see, in this see, 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 see. When, when, the, when the flow is heavy i think you should sit that shit out but you know it towards the beginning or, to, and or towards the see, end and what's crazy is i have a weird attraction for niggas who ask that question i'll be like no i can't fuck i'm on my period and they're like is it heavy <laughs> That shit is sexy to me. Like, like, he's like, what? like he don't give a fuck. He don't yeah. give a fuck. Shit, it's the I, beginning or the end. I gives all the way fucks, but like, but like we're talking. Ocean I don't, don't really like pussy though. <laughs> what? what? Like, you gotta stop saying that, yo. This is not, I'm not, you gotta stop. We, that joke is already over. It's done. We're not taking it into the weeks anymore, okay? Because okay. I can, we can remember. I can start. Go, let's let's go. Let's, okay. let's go ahead exactly. and move on. Exactly. Exactly. You want to move on? Yeah. All right. That that shit is over with. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what period in history had the best fashion to you? The best fashion. The best. The seventies. The seventies. Yes, I feel like everybody was glamorous with like the bell bottoms, the platform. Hair hills the afros the 70s right. for sure now okay so you know i got these questions on uh what is the best questions to ask on the first date these are like a okay, lot of okay. the questions if a guy you went on a date with a guy yeah. and he started asking you these questions would you what would you feel about that i really did tom i really i was like i want to get to know her so i was like what's the best i typed in google what's the best questions wow. to ask a woman on a first date and these are the questions you got in my full well i haven't dated in a while but in my decades of dating, I've never asked a woman, "What do you like getting down on your period?" Oh no 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 no, no. that wasn't that wasn't that, oh, that, okay. wasn't, a, no, that wasn't a question. <laughs> like, that wasn't a question no, at all. Like just straight out the gate, first date. <laughs> so know, uh, no. on your period, I mean, is that a no or no. like I'm like no? No, it's the questions that like, what's your favorite TV show? Okay, and shit okay. like that. Okay. I said, can I ask? Her. <laughs> okay, I didn't okay. know that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, okay. That's what I was asking. I, that was not, I would hope that the internet wasn't like, yeah, you on your period, bitch? What? <laughs> so, oh, yeah. I like, to know, I like to know straight out the gate. What? What's acceptable and what's not. I want to know what's I have a whole rap. It's like, I like deep penetration from the guys that I'm dating. I like head on first dates. Fuck the food. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you won't, That's why you haven't gone out with Tom yet. Because Tom keeps trying to serenade you. You're like, yo, just Tom, stop it. I wrote her a song. You, you did a write song. her a song. It touched me. It touched me. It did. I loved it. All right. Did I ask you this question? What's the most ridiculous argument you've ever had? I don't do a whole lot of arguing. Because, like, with men, it's like I just step back and I look at him. I'm like, you want to argue or you want your dick sucked? We, I mean, we can't do both. You choose. <laughs> you choose. <laughs> You want to you argue or you want to fuck? Okay. <laughs> you can't, uh, you be like, fuck it, just suck my dick, I guess. Are you mad? We'll talk about these bills later, my motherfucker. You mad? <laughs> right. You mad? With women, I'm just like, would you eat my pussy? <laughs> then be mad, bitch. Go on. Ta-ta. Good day. I said good day. I said good day. I don't do a whole lot of, I don't do a whole lot of arguing. <laughs> that's, that's fucking funny. 
Okay, well, yeah, you always, that's a great thing about you. You always, in any situation, would, do you want your dick suck or what? Because we talked about everything. that before. That's my pickup line. <laughs> oh, that is your pickup yeah. line. I'll go line? and I'll walk up and I'll see a guy who looks tense and I'll look him deep in his eyes <laughs> and I tell him, you look like you need your dick sucked. <laughs> and then he'll start like laughing or some shit like that and it just breaks the ice. And they will buy you drinks all oh, night. night. <laughs> and then you'll be like, okay, bye. It's nice, <laughs> nice meeting you. Yo, so if any girl ever does that to me, I'd be like, yo, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I know Chrissy go bad. Oh. Y'all got that shit already down packed. <laughs> all right, well, that was, that's some good that's get it. to know you. Yes. That, that went fast, though. You, oh, I forgot to say our uh, show is sponsored by Truly's this weekend. What's yours? Ice smash. Actually, Ocean saying, "What's mine? This is actually Ocean's." And I was like, "Nigga, if you don't give me that pink bottle." <laughs> okay, so we gonna still be on no, this, huh? No, this not. is what we doing, huh? No, this no, is where no, we're no, starting. no, no, no. This no, is no. how we are gonna keep this cheers, going, huh? No, cheers. fuck it, cheers. Is that what we doing? Cheers, Ocean. <laughs> exactly. I, I tried to give you. <laughs> I let that shit go before. Are we gonna keep doing this? And you gonna let it go again? <laughs> no. See, if you did the callback, you were supposed to be like, "You want your dick sucked." <laughs> That was the callback. You want to argue? <laughs> you want your dick sucked. We can't do both. We can't do both. All right. All right. That was a section that was entertainment. Where, uh, oh, we didn't even do the music this time because we didn't have entertainment. Because, you know, I didn't do the entertainment. So. Yeah. Uh, but it was good to get to know you. Some people wanted Thank to know. Uh, people have been asking and want to get to know you. I always tell people, I'm like, hit her up on Instagram. She's nice. She'll talk back to you, right? You talk back to the fans? I talk back. Okay, you talk back and all that good shit. All right, well, we ready for our guests, so we you sure know are. how it goes. Show everybody your kind of winter outfit. You know. It is a winter oh. outfit, okay. Winter attire. Winter attire. That's right. <laughs> Chrissy go bang in the building. All right, that was the uh, inner type inner um, entertainment section. Uh, here, you want to take this your uh, that phone right there. Uh, uh, I'm excited about our guest coming on. Uh, he is uh, one half of the very very uh, very funny uh, group Plastic Cup Boys. Uh, he tours all over uh, the country with Kevin Hart. They also have a show on i is it on iHeart? It's on series uh i'll let him tell you all about that he also has a tv show on bt very very funny dude i need everybody to start clapping right now everybody start clapping put your hands together for naeem lynn y'all make some noise naeem what's good fam what up what up what up do i get a new <laughs> get a new condom i know i get you, gotta, you can't uh you gotta can't leave me hanging <laughs> <laughs> you know you don't she, get it. She that. Did. She's up here telling me I'm sucking dick and spit all over this shit. <laughs> now it's in my face. <laughs> you can take the condom off if you want. <sighs> you can do that. I will say there was a time. There was a time where I did uh, suck dick. <laughs> And like this guy cheated on me, okay? Listen, listen, this guy cheated on me, so I sucked dick, and then I went before I washed my mouth and kissed him. And oh, so you sucked somebody else's dick? Yeah, and then I called him a dick sucking nigga. Oh, you are and, and you still alive? <laughs> she wouldn't be alive now, ain't that with you? I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's worth getting killed on. <laughs> It's worth getting killed over. Uh, I wanted to jump in that conversation so bad. Oh, you could have. You should have jumped, jumped in. Uh, I, I, thought, I thought it was you waiting for the, the intro, so I didn't say nothing. There was a lot of shit I wanted to. Okay, okay, what's on, what's on your what mind? You speak, we, your we, truth, you speak your truth, Keith. Speak your truth. always a mic. You can I don't know. It was, it was just everything. I just wanted to jump in. <laughs> so you would fuck a girl on her period? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? And I, I have, uh-huh. you know, that... that when you have sex with a girl in a period, that, that, let's go, Naeem. Let's talk about it. That post nut clarity. <laughs> it's the post nut clarity. Uh-huh. When you bust that nut and you just, and you bloody and you just like, <laughs> you just, you're just so disappointed in yourself. You are. You're so disappointed in yourself. Like, I really could have waited. Okay, That's <laughs> 
that's the post nut clarity. Before, then you just like, you know, like you said, how heavy is it? Really heavy? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I've said that before. <laughs> you what, what, have... what day you on? <laughs> <laughs> what day you on? Yeah. I, I used to have a girlfriend that, and she would, I, I couldn't remember when her shit was, but like, she would just always. Let me fuck when it's on, and I hated it. I do not like that shit at all. So why'd you keep doing it? I didn't know. I mean, I'm just saying it would already be. That's where I got the thing where I said I was like, "Yo, this is shit is extra, extra wet." So she just wouldn't tell you. She wouldn't tell me to, and then I would go and be like, "You know, you was on your period," and she'd be like, "Oh yeah, it was like my last day." Like, <laughs> bitch, you could have said something to uh, always, Chrissy, yeah. but uh, you need the microphone, Chrissy. All right, all right. so you said you could. You could have just told me already the whole time, but she mm -hmm. didn't. Yeah. You she, had to joke she, about uh, that where you said you will do anything now. A man, a man will do any do anything. <laughs> right, right. Nothing is nasty to a man. Anything? Before you, uh, nothing is nasty to a man before you bust a nut. Mm. And then when you, after you bust a nut, like, you know, before you got your finger in the ass. <laughs> 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 you bust a nut and you got a dude on your finger. You know? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did I do this? <laughs> you just feel disgusting. Okay, so I feel you. Mm. Like a few weeks ago, I was telling you guys about how um, I get like that after masturbating too. Like after masturbating, sometimes I'm like, damn, bitch. So my solution to that was like I would just use the shower head and mm. I'd call it cleaning. Like, you know, I'm power washing <laughs> oh, you, shit. You had to I'm extra psych thorough. yourself out. Yeah, extra yeah. thorough. <laughs> yeah, I don't masturbate, but I've heard that guys feel bad after they do it. Just like with the. Mm. With the wait, wait, you wrong. never masturbate? I've tried. <laughs> Are you talking I've, about like I thought you're talking about just as a grown up like never? I've never successfully masturbated. I've tried in wow. my in my, in my uh, late teens, early twenties. I tried wow. it just just wasn't happening. So okay, so when you was on droughts with women, you just was on the drought and that was it. You know what's crazy is Balls. you know I have issues because now I want to go home with with him and like give him suggestions like no like you're gonna keep rubbing that shit till you come. Let me see it. Try lotion nah. and KY jelly and shit like that. It's not. I'm I'm just I'm so much of a pleaser that I need I I need feedback. I need somebody. You know. Right. I just can't. I can't do it. To my, I need someone there. I need an extra body there to receive what I'm giving. Okay. Well, uh, Chrissy, you can be the extra body. You can Ocean have... volunteers me to fuck every day. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're good. I'm married. You're good. But she... Are you married? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why are you looking at me? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying I, I didn't know. You know what I mean? You never said it. So I'm not, I'm he not... said you got married like you said you had cancer. I didn't know. <laughs> I, I didn't say I got married. I said I oh, I'm yeah, married. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I just yeah. never knew. I mean, you know, He's like, you're, not, oh. you're not a guy that really like oh. just tells all your business or anything like that. So yeah, I'm very private. Okay, yeah, you uh, are. I'm like, very private. Yeah. It was, it was, it was shocking to me that you even like really put your daughter on Instagram and stuff like that because you really don't do like you're not really. It's for the likes. It's for. The likes. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to get the most likes. <laughs> right, right. Your I daughter is beautiful know. though. No, my, my daughter, she just whenever she does something that's funny you know uh -huh. some then you know if it's a holiday i'll post it but yeah, yeah she's funny as shit how, how long uh how long you been married for if I uh, can three that. three years three years mm -hmm. all right cool um did you guys know that i was married no i'm just speaking it into existence <laughs> <laughs> See, one thing about her, you know, she's up here talking about, you know, a lot of freaky shit. And, uh, right. she does, there's, I, I know women that talk this type of shit. Uh -huh. And then when you get out, you're like, nah, I was just for the show. <laughs> we <laughs> have this conversation, too, about how I talk all freaky. And, and then, like, you don't do nothing about their dicks. And I'm like, oh, my God, your dick is out. Yeah, right. <laughs> you really happened? don't do nothing? I... I you do some she, shit. She do some she, shit. She she's nothing like this is all this is all part of her her persona, her act for the for the show. She's not like that. My friends would be like, No, remember that one time you No, I've I've acted on it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it. No, no, no. You've done stuff. Yeah. You're just not what you are portraying in front of this camera. You're not that. You don't think so. Are you challenging hell no. me? Hell no. You don't I I Bro. I <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, okay. <laughs> I am pretty innocent though. Girls that girls that are like really about that shit, they don't they don't just get on, they don't say that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. she's not. She, you're not like that. Uh, okay. No way, no way. You're I'll not. Take it. You're not like. You take it. Because and then you say you're single, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be the case. You wouldn't be single. Oh what? Uh, maybe I'm. Um, maybe would you, I'm... Like a, would you like a pimp in your former life? <laughs> <laughs> no, I... down everybody just quiet. It's like, kind of oh. like it's kind of like how women say guys that talk the most shit about their sex, you know, got small dick so they can't right, fuck. Right. It's like it's like the same, not saying that you you got a small clit or you can't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you just. You're not, you're not about that shit. Not about that you're not about what you I'll what take you it. That's the first person that's ever told me I ain't about that life. And you know what? It's got me feeling real holy right now. I'm feeling like a good girl. If, if I had to it. bet, if I had to bet, I would bet she was about that life. Because when you came on, she was just coming on as a guest host. Mm. So it wasn't like I was like, yo, come do, you know, be the host of it. She was just coming. I was just going to have a gang of people. And then all of a sudden, she was who she was. And, and I was like, you picked her yes exactly i was told there were going to be different hoes every week <laughs> that's the only reason i Not agreed to do hoes. this shit different hoes i know <laughs> yeah. he said hoes exactly and we're gonna have a different hoe every week okay chrissy is what you like to call a shock jock a shock jock what is a shock jock like howard stern people that just say shit just for the you know for the response <laughs> I'm about, to, I'm about to call my friends right now and be like, am I really crazy? Yeah, I you're, think you're really crazy. How old are you? In, in, in my 30s. In, in my 30s. Early or late? Early. What was the reference that it was? What was it that you talked about earlier that she knew? Oh, Golden Girls. Golden Girls. You're in your late 30s. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't watching TV, Lang. Get the fuck out of here. I am in my early 30s. No, you about, I am in my you about early class 30s. of 99. You're in my class of 99. 2000, maybe. Oh. <laughs> this nigga naive. Uh-uh. It's no everything. I am a spring chicken. Nope. No, you, no, you are a fall chicken. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, so... When I had a spank here, he was he was talking about how uh, you were uh, first initially on the road with Kevin, mm-hmm. and then uh, you quit and went with Cedric. That's not what happened. That's, okay, so I said I wanted to I wanted to get what the real story from Naim, but nah, go ahead. I, I didn't I didn't quit. What happened was um, when I first moved out here. I mean, I was out here. Shit, I just got out. I just got out here, right? And um, I did a show at. Uh, for Chris Spencer's birthday at uh, the Savoy. Uh And I knew uh, Cedric was going to be there. It was all part of my plan. And so I performed and I I destroyed it. And then, um, because one of my friends from college was his nanny. So I was like, yo, just ask Ced about, you know, my show last night. And then he's like, oh, that's your boy? Yeah, he's funny as hell. Actually, you know, give me his number. I want him maybe write for me or something. So I took that opportunity to work with Ced but I was still working with Kev on the weekends that I wasn't, you know, working with Seb. But if they both had a weekend at the same time, I wasn't available. So I convinced Kev to put Spank on because Kev didn't even want to put Spank on at right. first. Okay. Yeah, and that's how <laughs> that's how Spank started working with, with Kev. <laughs> it's so funny because that's not what Spank was saying. You got to watch it. Spank is like, oh, I'm also going to start shit too. Uh, Spank said he could be all y'all niggas up. Like, like, Ocean's <laughs> over here snitching. Did, wait, it's on the podcast. It, did, did, this, he or did he not if say you heard, If you heard our radio show, there's nothing that he can say that about what anybody said that would offend me. Right, we right, right, we right. destroy each other exactly. on radio. Exactly. Okay. But exactly. Spank is. Uh, he said he smacked all y'all niggas. Spank. <laughs> Spanker hasn't had a fight in in at least twenty years, right? <laughs> but he still got that he still got that North Philly in him. So he right. he thinks that he can do certain things, and, and I'm not saying that he can or he can't. I just know if he get hit, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> no, so, so yeah, he said he was like you left, and then Cam called him. And he was like. Thanks, and then he said you can't. This is what he said. Mm-hmm. He said that you came when something happened where Cedric fired you or something like that. So and you came begging back to. Uh, he didn't say that. He, he didn't not, say it like I, that. I just want to bet. He didn't say it like that. He said no. it in a great funny he, way. He, he said, said I was begging. <laughs> yeah, he, he said didn't say that. that. 
But uh, what you want? You can if if we could call if we could call him on three if we could call him right now, he would confirm that my story is true. I got him that job. Okay. Kev did not, which which ultimately got Wayne the job. So both of these niggas are heavily indebted to me. Well, when are you gonna get me a job? Well, you already got you a got job. A, you got a job. <laughs> I gotta make See? her sign a contract because she just already. She's like, who got the best next Look, offer? <laughs> no, she's, no, no. she's leaving you soon as the <laughs> no, opportunity right. comes. No, bro. no. <laughs> no. I mean an extra. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, what happened was said. We we joke and said he fired me, but he didn't. What he did was he gave me like six shows over a, a five to six month period, right? right? And that was it. And it was just a tester. Right. And he just didn't he just didn't bring me on no more. And then here's the crazy shit. And I've talked about this when I did the interview with uh Comedy Hype. Right. Malik S, who I did not I didn't like at the time. Right. For no reason. Just I just didn't like his swag. Right. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> I just You it just was, didn't like the nigga. He just, just he just was he just was confident and and he didn't speak to anybody. Same same reason people don't like me. Right. You know. Because we talk about this. I think the last time right. we talked about it. But the, my whole thing was I didn't, I felt we were kind of, our careers were kind of parallel. We were kind of in the same space. And he would walk in out of a place and just not acknowledge me. And I felt like that was just cocky. Right. You know, like, I don't like a motherfucker. I like, they don't know who I am. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, there's a lot of people that don't know who I am. But right. if you are a black comedian. You know who you are. You should know who I am. Right. <laughs> Right. White comedians don't fucking know me, but if you right. are a black comedian and somebody who's been in the game comparable amount of years as me, you know our careers are kind of the same. Right. You know who the fuck I am. You know who the fuck you are. Right. So I I didn't like that, and I just like I just wasn't feeling his his vibe. And uh, the last show I did was said we were at the fucking airport waiting on our bags, and he came over and said knew him because uh, Malik had worked with uh, DL, uh-huh. and then he was like you know he was talking to him. And I didn't say shit to him. I just had like just fucking ice grill, you know. <laughs> right, right. And when he walked away, they was like, "Damn, what, what was that all about?" <laughs> <laughs> like they they could feel it, they you know. Feel it. Right, right. I was like, man, I just don't like that nigga. I just don't like him. Right, right, right. And then next thing you know, I wasn't doing no more dates, and he was doing it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. so, oh wow! So oh, they was his homeboy. Now, well, I guess they were they were just looking for somebody else to they was looking for somebody to replace me, and that right. nigga just happened to be at the airport when we got there. <laughs> they was like, "Yo, get that nigga that Naheem don't like." Right, <laughs> right, and then and the crazy thing is, me and him are like we like super tight now. Right, right. Well, mm-hmm. that's how I, I say that's how me and you me and you became super cool. Like, uh, I would see Naeem all the time, and I would be like, I would come and talk to be like, "What's up, man?" And Naeem would just be like, "What's up." And then so finally after a while, I was like, I went up to him like, bro, did I do something to you? Like, <laughs> did I, did I, you know I'm, I'm being cool as fuck. Like, what's going on? He's just like, you know, just, and then we hung out and you was like the coolest motherfucker. Like, I was like, yo, this dude, I called him up. I was like, yo, <clears throat> Naeem was like the shit. Like, we hung out. It was super mm. cool. I just didn't know you. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> That's, you know, I, I'm just not. I'm, I mean, everybody that knows me knows I'm not friendly. I'm, right. I'm a nice guy, right. <laughs> right, right, right? But I'm not friendly. I'm not. I'm not about to go. I mean, there's people that I'm fans of. I may see them somewhere. Nine times out of ten, I'm not gonna say shit. And it's been it's crazy because I've seen people that I'm, like that I've seen on TV. I may be a fan of their work. And I don't say nothing. Then they come up to me. And you're like, yo, uh, uh. I'm like, oh, what's up, man? Then I then I say like, yeah, I seen you. On, I know who you right, are. You right, know, right, I seen right. your shit. But I just. I don't know. You're just not gonna have me looking stupid. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so, I don't know. So tell me about your uh, your show on BT. What's the name of it? Why it's I called know? Assisted Living. Okay. Um, What's it about? So Assisted Living is about uh, <laughs> I'm a I'm a guy who goes to visit my grandfather in Atlanta, and uh, excuse me, and um, I get there to collect. I'm going there to collect my inheritance, right? That my dead grandmother left me, and I get there, and my grandfather has spent it. Oh shit! On the the uh, the living the assisted living facility that he's in, he buys the shit, and like everybody died in there except him. <laughs> and we like, all right, what the fuck we gonna do? And right. I had lost my job, so that money I was kind of depending on that money to take care of my family. Right. So my wife convinces me to stay there, and then we take it over, and then uh, around episode five, the Browns, you know, David and Tamla Man, yeah, they yeah. come in yeah. as investors, and then we fix up the facility. 
and uh the first season is just like us trying to get it ready to have um residents right and we just finished season two and we got uh three new cast members that are fucking hilarious three of they old people and they are the residents at the at the facility and it's just funny as hell man and um you know i'm really looking forward to the second we got about I think six or seven more episodes of the first season. Okay. And then I'm just looking forward to the second season. All right, so you guys finished and filmed the second season yeah, already. We're done, bro. Damn, we're, that's we're crazy. Yeah, we was in the bubble down there. I just got back. That's what's up. Yeah, because I asked you to do it, the uh, podcast, and you was like, I could do it after this date. You know, yeah. Because you was down in the bubble. So mm-hmm. you was down there for how long? You guys were just cranking them out. We was there for three weeks, but we only filmed for two of those weeks. And so y'all did like we did it, 20, 22 you, episodes in two weeks. Wow. So this wow, twenty two episodes in two weeks. Jeez. Damn. So here's my question: How do you memorize all of the like words and everything? So it, we were doing two episodes a day, right? <clears throat> Damn. Yeah. That's yeah. Hard. It's it's really, and we were we were filming every day, so it was it was hard to. Here's the thing with me: I stopped trying to kill my. my I have poor study habits, so I stopped killing myself trying to memorize. Um, the episodes the day the night before. What I would do is I would read over it, just kind of get the feeling of what's going on in the episode. Right. And then I I got really good at retaining the my my lines during the rehearsal right before we shoot. Mm. So right before we we do a scene, we would read it one time, and then I would kind of just take it in, and then I would just be able to to do it. And if you don't, if you need help with a line, there's somebody on the mic just that'll give you lines. It was. It wasn't to the last two episodes that I really, I really needed help because we did three the day before, so it was like a fifteen hour day. We got off at like, I don't know, ten o'clock or some shit at night. You were just tired. I as was fuck. tired to sell. I was like, man, they're gonna have to help me tomorrow. Right. And then we did two episodes the next day, and then we were done. It was. It was very grueling, man. It was a hard, hard couple of weeks, but you know, there's pros and cons. You know, the pros are. That you go and you make your money and you get the fuck out of here in a couple of weeks. The cons are you don't rest. Right. You know, I was getting like five, six hours of sleep every night. It was tough. Yeah, that's it was crazy. tough. I don't want I don't want to do that again. But I will say this, the show is gonna be great. Um I was much better. I received a lot of praise in the first season. It was uh it was a mixture of me trying to adjust the sitcom, getting right. getting that down. There's the energy that goes with sitcom, there's a the timing that goes with it. You know, waiting for the laugh track, all of that stuff. Also, um, uh, when you don't know your lines, you got somebody in your ear giving you the lines. And I didn't, I didn't learn how to stay in character while receiving the lines. So it was just like, like, all right, let's say you doing this show right now, and, right. I'm, and I'm like, say, I'm like, uh, say chicken butt, and then you just repeat, say chicken butt. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's not acting. <laughs> Right. You just you're just repeating what you just heard. Right, right. So that affected my performance. And what I I just been watching the first season, just taking notes on how I can be better because I right. know that I can act. Right. You know. Right. So um, came back this season with a new energy, new attitude, and and I got a lot of praise for it. So I know I was doing well. That's what's up, man. That's good. I, and I I've watched it and I I enjoy it. It's a it's a great show. I even texted you and said, you know, congratulations and all of that good stuff. But it, it, that's crazy the amount of time that you guys had to film that. So it's not in front of a live audience like it nah. normally would. Now it's a laugh track, so you have to hear it. you hear the laugh track. You can hear it when you're doing it, yeah. And then I guess on some parts where they didn't use it, they can do it in um post production. That's what's up. That's crazy. Uh so now do what do you like better? Do you like stand up or do you like the acting what's your you know what's your favorite thing now that you're on a show regularly and and, and i and i hope and pray it goes as long as we're gonna do a minimum a minimum of 100 episodes okay we're, go, we're going to syndication syndication okay. for sure i mean the ratings were really good bt right. was like can y'all get us some more right and like i said it's going to be better moving forward so and we did we did two seasons in one year we're going to be at 100 episodes by the end of next year probably do you guys uh need a character uh, <laughs> that just oh. like white girls? Do you guys? So time out. So time out. So now Ocean's trying to get a job. No, I mean, but, this is, but, this is, but this is my show here. This is. My... <laughs> I mean, other than like small parts here yeah. and there, like a guest appearance, all they all they're really adding is old people. Oh really? Yeah, there's residents for right. the for the facility. As an Asian, 
I may I may look like I'm 40. <laughs> I'm actually 87 years old. So if they need an old so you person, mean old Asian <laughs> whose people, bones crack. Do people come and ask you to get them parts on the show? Has that started happening to you yet? Uh, in the past couple weeks, it's kind of like yo, if they need this, they need that. Like I'm like, bro. I don't have no type of pull yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, and if I did, the people that are asking me, they would not be. They, would not be, <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be the people I'd be looking out for. Right. You know? Listen, let me tell you something. As close as we are, I know that I would not be one of the first people that he would call. Right. And, it, <laughs> and it's not that I wouldn't want to help you. It's yeah, just course, there's a there's a line. There's a line. Like, yeah. like, 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 like I asked, so he was like, I know there's a lot. Like I asked, them, you had some shows, and I was like, "Yo, man, you got you need a feature." He was like, "You already had somebody. You said his name." And then I was like, "Okay, well, if he can't make you like, well, they, I had this person name." I was like, "Oh yeah, you got a lot of people that you gotta put on first, wow. but no one." <laughs> I, that's why I said specific character. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I see a character with one of your homeboys, like the only white girls, then I'd be pissed <laughs> off. Right? If I see somebody on the show that's playing a hoe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, we when well, we got one of those an old lady. Oh, okay. See, yeah, you <laughs> it's an old lady the on on the new. I can be her niece. On, on the new season, <laughs> right. and she is fucking hilarious, man. She is hilarious. It's it's gonna be so good. But to answer your question okay. about what I like better, um, I feel like well, with with stand up, um, although it, you know the acting pays more, of course, at right. this, at this point in my career, but with stand up, it's the instant validation that makes it preferable for me right also you are living and dying by your own words so when you uh do a sitcom or any type of tv show you are you know you're reciting someone else's writing and with stand-up this is the shit you wrote right. so you know you confident in it and if it do bad then you know you you can't blame nobody but yourself right so um I'm a you know I'm a comedian at heart. I've been doing it for 22 years. That's and, crazy. Yeah, and acting is uh is my new thing, but um I'll never stop doing stand up. Especially like as I start to get you know get some 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 uh celebrity and some traction and and that following, you know you gotta it's one hand washes the other. So when you are doing when you got a hit TV show, you have to do stand up so you can get all that money. Right. You know there's people that. Uh, got a show that was successful and they stopped doing stand up, stand -up and they right. missed they left a whole bunch of money on the table. Right. And I just can't I can't do that. So that's me. I would never quit stand up. Nah. Ever. Yeah. Don't don't ever quit stand up, man. I I would never quit. Now I would like to get to a point to where I can perform when I feel like it. Right. You know? Right. I ain't trying to be like beating up the road, uh um R. I. P. to John Witherspoon, but you know, he was out there working to. He was working like every weekend and shit, right, like right, a, right. like a young dude. Right. Like I don't want to. Do you think that he wanted to do that, or do you think that he had to do that? I think it was a combination of both. Um, you know, money runs out, bro. Yeah. You know, he had some TV shows, some movies, but that shit don't last. Now, I don't know about his investments. You know, the the goal with me is to invest in some things and, and just secure the bag and make sure I don't have to depend on acting or stand up to pay my bills right uh eventually radio is going to get me there right that's what spank was saying you yeah guys, radio is going to be crazy radio is going to is going to get me to, to a point where that shit is paying all of my bills right but um you know i just want to be able to work when i want to work you know my i have a young child and i don't want to have to be missing out on important uh milestones of her life because right. i have to work right that's what's up that's what's up all right so it's that time. This is that time where we do people come on. So you know the name of this podcast is called Funny Stories with Ocean. Uh, what we have is the guests come on and they tell a funny story. It could be about anything you like. It doesn't mm. matter. Uh, you could have told it before or you didn't tell it before. I, I prefer that you never told it before, but it's whatever, it's whatever to you. Uh, and it's new to our audience. So it's Funny Stories with Ocean featuring Naeem Lynn. It's on you. Um. I, you know, when I when I do uh, tell people stories about myself, like I like to, I like to tell embarrassing shit. Okay, you know, <laughs> because I come from a space of being extremely insecure uh -huh. when, I, when I was young, and um, you know, I was easily embarrassed by by little stuff. Okay, and then as I become a, became a better comedian, 
I started to use those things and make fun of them and found out that it's like, yo, this shit is not only is it okay to make fun of yourself, but there's people that have gone through similar shit. Right. Now, the shit I'm about to tell you, I doubt anybody has gone through it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but my most embarrassing stories that I can remember, I know there's other ones, but right. like the one that came to mind when you told me I had to have a funny story, they, they, <laughs> they involve semen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but not you jacking off. No, no, no. That's what makes it even worse. All right, all right, go ahead. So I, first and foremost, I was a bedwetter, okay. right? <laughs> what do you mean? You just peed in the bed all the time? I was I was a bedwetter. Okay. And I think I used to drink a lot of juice and shit when I was a kid and I used to fall asleep instead of going to the bathroom, brush your teeth, putting the pajamas, I used to just fall asleep and then I would, you know. I was just pissing on the bed. Like, my mattress looked like a fucking map. <laughs> like, I, f- I flipped that bitch over twice. That bitch was like Earth. <laughs> so, it got so bad. And my, my mom and my brother used to make fun of me. They called me pissy cat and shit like that. Piss pot. So, after a while, you know, and anybody there that's a bed, what you, you've been through this. Because you don't want anybody to make fun of you, you just don't say nothing. You'll pee in the bed, then you get up, <laughs> and then you'll go to bed the next night in the same pissy ass, <laughs> that same pissy ass bed. Your mama coming in the room like, why does room smell like piss all the time? My room just stays smelling like piss. Aww. So I, I piss in the bed. If I if I had to guess, I would say the last time I pissed in the bed was probably around. Maybe ten. <laughs> if I had to, if I had to guess, it could have been later. Grown child. Yeah, nah, nah. I peed in the bed when I was thirteen. Well, yeah, you when probably I was, drinking. When I was thirteen, I had, I, had, I had a dream that I was in the bathroom uh-huh. and I, I peed in the bed. Well, I mean, I went from peeing in the bed to wet dreams, so okay. it was just like you know, I was staying in my bed my whole my whole childhood, right. you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> so uh, there was a time I lost my virginity when I was 16, right? And then uh, I didn't have sex again for another year. And then it was like, then I, then at 17, and then again at 18. Like I wasn't, it wasn't consistent. And then when I got to college, I wasn't getting no ass at all. Right. Yeah. So I was like, that's when I was like going through my skin shit and everything. I was really insecure. And um, I never forget this. It was. <laughs> It was Howard homecoming. It's my freshman year. And uh, my best friend went to Howard. And there was a girl from my high school that also went there. And my my boy, you know, we had to kind of, my brother went with me too. So we couldn't, I couldn't, we all couldn't stay in his room. Right. So him and my brother stayed in the room and they slept on the bed, like with their legs off, like, like they were sitting on the bed. That's how they <laughs> slept. <laughs> right, right, right. And the girl from high school, she told me I could stay in her room. So I'm thinking I'm being there with her. Right. <laughs> this bitch gave me her room and left. <laughs> where, where, where did she go? Probably to some nigga house. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm about to finally get some. Right, right, right. She left me the room to herself. Right, right, right. Now, I don't know why. I don't, this is how I know there's a guy. <laughs> For some reason, I slept in her bed in my in my jeans. I don't know why I did, but I did that night. And uh, I don't know if it was her scent in the sheets. <laughs> I don't know if it was perfume. I don't know what it was. But when I tell you, I had six wet dreams that night in that girl's bed. I bust a nut six times. <laughs> I bust six nuts. <laughs> I bust six nuts in that bed in my jeans. If I didn't, if I didn't have my jeans on, <laughs> you would have tore up that. <laughs> you would have tore up her sheets. Like <laughs> her mattress would have been looking like Earth. <laughs> six nuts, and then and I wasn't getting none, so these was heavy nuts. <laughs> It's like when you drink a gallon of water, you go pee, and it's a straw. You you pee, and then two minutes later, you pee you strong again. as fuck, bro. <laughs> I kept I kept going to the bathroom to like you know we try to clean myself up. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? And every time I went to sleep, it was it was literally six times. I never forget this. I was like eighteen, nineteen. 
just I mean I just destroyed <laughs> nigga the night my jeans was hard as hell <laughs> 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 my jeans was if I'd have took them off, they just stood there by themselves. The motherfucker was hard as hell. I, I, I've never had a wet dream before. And, and so, how do you but are you just busting? You up? well, in a wet dream, you you're dreaming that you're having sex. Yeah. So you in your dream, you you know you bust off, and then <laughs> so it, you, and it's it's what, real. The, so you you remember the six times of, of the dreams? It was six times. I just remember because I just. This this is one of those things you're just never gonna forget. <laughs> right, I just right, like, yeah, right. what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Six times. So Six. When she came back, did you? Did, oh, you, I didn't say. I, well, I left before she even got back. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and I was just like, she gonna say if I don't know if you could see it because, like I said, I had on some jeans. <laughs> So I don't know. Blue jeans or black jeans? They was they was they were dark blue jeans. It was like a whole thing. A whole. I mean, I was putting it. I was putting the blow dry on the motherfuckers. Everything. This nigga thought he was walking out of the street like this. But I'm like, this nigga was walking like Danny Green playing. But I'm like six nuts. That's impressive. No, that is. I mean, you're older now, so maybe maybe two and a half. Six, that shit. That Listen, shit's impressive. Now I've I've done six before while being awake, maybe like twice ever in life. You did. You had sex six six times. I'll believe it. You busted six times. Six times, yeah. I'll believe it. Well, one. Uh, so uh, I used to work with this Jamaican dude at when I worked at the airport, and he had these pills called Boom. The you know that's supposed to hell. It's like a sex pill, right? Right, 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 right. And. Uh, <laughs> You know the you shit. Took one. I, I I've taken several. I okay. took took several of them. Of, not I mean not at the time, but right. I've, I've used them over right. and over again. Right. And um, the shit, the side effect is of it is the shit make you yawn. <laughs> 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 the shit makes you yawn. So you just be like, you know, and and, and that I know it sounds like nothing. And you'll never understand how bad it is to yawn when you are yawning for hours nonstop. Like your jaw starts hurting, you just can't oh, stop yawning. Shit. Yeah. So he used to give them to you in a fucking napkin. <laughs> right. You know, niggas take anything for their dick. You don't, you don't know what this shit is. One day he gave it to me in the package, and I gave it because I had my boy using it too. So because <laughs> it's just yawning all over the place. Yeah, bro. This the package had it had the name of it on it. <laughs> so he Googled the name of that shit. This dude was giving us a fucking antidepressant pill. Oh, and the side effect of it was yawning. Wow! But the side, but the antidepressant pill made your dick hard. Well, it, well, it, the side That's effect was yawning and and delayed ejaculation. Oh. So the Jamaicans they figured they found this shit out. This shit, you know, just make you <laughs> fuck longer. And we'll they start pushing that shit up and putting it in niggas' food. What's the <laughs> name of the pill? Well, he called it the nickname. They call it Boom, but I don't know what the actual name of, of was. <laughs> how long? How long did it take to start? Because I've never taken a pill like my, you know. Ad, I always say this. Ad takes pills all the time. Like uh-huh. he's a nonstop. I don't even think his dick work without taking a pill. Like this nigga's nonstop <laughs> pill taker. Like I'm mm. like that's why I said I'm scared to take any of that shit. Man, I mean I've taken I've taken some pills. Viagra is for shit like Viagra is for older guys that right. can't get an erection. Right. All right. Then you got shit that just that's just going to either it'll maybe a de- most pills aren't for delayed ejaculation. It's for to get you hard again right after you bust a nut. Okay. And so that's what. The but then when that happens, you gotta have a, your dick and your brain gotta have a conversation with each other. Right. Because your brain like I don't feel like fucking again, but your dick your dick, <laughs> your dick is hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So y'all having an argument and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it up for Naeem on his funny story. Mm-hmm. Yo, <laughs> I actually wasn't done. Oh, okay, go ahead. All right, oh. Go ahead. Another similar situation. Okay, good. We get two. Who else gave us two? Uh, it's all related. Okay, go ahead. So, go ahead, so go ahead. <laughs> my sophomore year in college, um, I had these two female friends, just friends. We were real cool. And they, they moved into the new dorm. And... Um, they let me, I was waiting for my apartment to be ready, which was a week after school started. So they let me sleep in their room 
on these big pillows that they had. They had got all this stuff in their room to make it cute and everything. And I slept on their pillows and shit. And uh, yeah, bust a <laughs> nut right on their <laughs> right <on they laughs> pillow. I was trying to clean that shit off. Oh, so you didn't have your jeans on this time. <laughs> that stain was just there, bro. <laughs> It was just there. I just didn't say shit. Like, they, gonna, they had to think that this is soda. <laughs> so it's pretty much whenever you fucking sleep at some girl's house. I guess so. <laughs> you must that. That's because you don't jack off, bro. If you jacked off, you no, might... that's facts. That's facts. If you got some control, it was. But if I if I enjoyed jacking off, then I would have. But right, it just it just did nothing for me. Oh, see, I enjoy it. Like afterwards, I tell myself things like. Oh, I love you. Like, I mean, I mean, I'm whose hand is this? I'm like, I love you. Is this? <laughs> do you use your hand or do you use toys? I use my hand and the shower head and toys. I mean, mm, you, gotta you got to keep everything. it fresh. I got mm. it. Oh, you, know? you yeah, you got to keep it. And sometimes I plan it like on Monday I'm gonna use my hand. I'm gonna bu- bust your ass. I'm gonna bust my ass on I'm Monday. I'm gonna power wash that shit. <laughs> right, right. See, we can't even that we can't even ask you where's the craziest place you jacked off at because you don't jack off at all. That's crazy. Mm. Here's it at the Staples Center. Hers what? Is, yeah. Who, is who was playing the Clippers? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the Clippers was bad. <laughs> Man, they getting blown out again. Let me go beat my dick. <laughs> beat my dick like they're getting beat on the court. Who was who playing? I'm not going to say. Why not? It wasn't a game. It wasn't a, who was fighting. It was a fight or what it was it? Fight. What was it? Oh, see, I didn't even that get that VIP box. Yeah, you said you was in the VIP box. I mean, box. I know because I was there. Oh, no, you wasn't. But you didn't say. It was, was a concert. Uh, it was a It was a concert. Thing. Oh, okay. So yeah. it was like probably Who was like it? It, which, which was it Rihanna? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I could ask you that because we we had we a couple of episodes back mm-hmm. we said uh who would you rather have sex with if you had one person? I mean, it was you had the one night stand and you had to choose between the both of them. Who would you have sex with, Rihanna or uh, Beyonce? Rihanna. Everybody. Who would pick? Beyonce was there was I asked this question to a group of girls and a lot of girls was like Beyonce. Well, be, girls are stands for Beyonce. But guys don't really we don't really like thirst for Beyonce. I don't thirst for either one, but right. <clears throat> if it was the the cho- a choice between the two, you know, you know Rihanna's kind of freaky. She fucks with regular guys. It's, right. it's like a it's like a fantasy that could kind of come true, right, you think, right, you know right. what okay. I mean? But Beyonce is just like She's like Michael Jackson and shit. Right. Yeah, it's not it's not a realistic fantasy. See, I said I would fuck Rihanna, but I would cuddle with Beyonce. Mm. Beyonce's probably a good cuddler. Yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't pick either one. But if between the two, that would be the one. Okay, if you could pick any girl that you would want to have sex with, no personality. You don't know that personality or just who would it be that you would have a sex celebrity? with? A celebrity? Celebrity. Maya. Maya. I love Maya. I, Damn, met her I haven't heard that name in a long yeah. time. Maya. She's gorgeous. And I can tell you serious too, because he said that like quickly. Well, I, don't, I used to Maya. dream of <laughs> right. fucking. I don't army. have I don't really have celebrity crushes. Okay. I got an old head one, I got a young one. <laughs> but ain't well, well Maya's not she's my age, but you who's know. your old head? <sighs> I can't I can't. Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah. What you mean? You was gonna make yeah, him say can. who he who he, he didn't say. He didn't say who it is, so he can say his. What what's your who's your I've worked with the with the with the old head one. Who's your I name? also worked with this uh, person. Oh, that yeah. was at okay, yo, who's... and it's Sally Richardson. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sally Richardson was. Hey, she was. No, in... not no was. No, no, no. There's no, no just, was. No, I'm is. just saying it's, uh, is. And uh, low down, dirty shame. She was. That was. She she still she's still gorgeous, man. Shit. Okay, Tom. Who was the uh, the girl on stage? <laughs> Motherfucker, nah, Naeem works with people and probably knows her husband and says, I do. <laughs> right. I do. So, uh, who was the, who, who was the girl? Listen, I don't want to get into Come this. On, right. man. <laughs> Stop playing. We can't even see you on the camera, yeah, man. Nobody, see, nobody knows, knows it's you. Just you saying. Look, okay. So it was a concert. Okay. Well, a music, that. a music concert. No. Uh, stand up. Oh, sh- stand up concert. Uh, okay. And a girl that I was fucking with knew I was out and she was like hey i'm gonna get you all fucking riled up i'm like no I, you can't i'm at a 
I'm at a show. She's like, I'm gonna make it happen, mm-hmm. and she did. Oh. So, but but the con the person who's concert, you didn't have a crush on that person. No, 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 no. Oh, no, oh. no, no. So you just no. Was, was it a guy performing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I was at the show uh, with, with. Is there any girl the stand up that's done the Staples Center? <laughs> Shit. Uh, maybe as an opener. <laughs> right. No disrespect. Man. Right. Yeah, I don't think there is. Yeah, uh, it's just a girl I was fucking with, and she was like, "Well, she was basically like, I'm gonna make you do this." So she made you beat off the Dane Cook. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many people. It's Dan Cook, Kev. Who else? Who uh, else is fucking did stand up at? Uh, Dave Chappelle only does theater, so uh, it wasn't him. Fucking um, uh, Joe Coy. Joe, Joe Coy. Coy. But he did that. He 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 didn't do the Staples Center. He did uh, maybe, maybe the form. He did Honda Center. And he did the form. Oh, that, did he? Yeah, he did. He sold out the form twice, so it had okay, to be then. only Dan Cook. Dan Cook or Kevin Dane. Hart. It was Dan. It was Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> It better not have been when I was on stage, motherfucker. <laughs> he beat off when I... Did you notice how I didn't look you in the eyes when he walked in? Look, he's like, the opener's on. I'm going <laughs> to... It's just the opener. I'm going to beat off. <laughs> Give it up for Naeem for coming. Oh, that was fucking great. Uh, yo, tell everybody where they can find you at social media, all that good shit. Uh, you can find me, uh, Naeem the Star on everything. N a i m t h e s t a r. That's Twitter, Instagram, and I just joined um, uh, Clubhouse today. Clubhouse. Yeah, you said that. What was that? You got a whole bunch of. What did you say about Clubhouse? I said when I when I joined Clubhouse, there was six people waiting for me in a little room, like. Like your dead grandparents when you get to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Clubhouse is. It's just, it's some new shit. It's like, um, it's kind of like IG Live, but okay. it's just audio. So you can start these uh, uh, these rooms and just have a discussion with people about shit. And then you can decide who you want to speak. So it's kind of like Zoom and IG Live, but no, vid- no video. I'm, I'm sick of all this new shit. I, I got to stay with the regular well, they, shit. They said it's pretty cool, though. Okay. I mean, like, for instance, the shit that I say on Twitter, um, those topics that I, I may talk about where people retweet, this is actually you go into this room and you can say something and then you can have a, a you know, platform and have people talk and discuss what you're talking about. So it's just another way for celebrities to get in touch with their fans, you know, um, almost like a, you can kind of treat it like a podcast or a radio show where people can, you know, Interact. Interact. I'll wait yeah. for it to come to Instagram because Instagram they, they steals everything. everything. Yeah. It's everything. What's your uh your radio show? Uh, is where is that they can hear that it's at? It's called um Straight from the Heart. Uh-huh. It comes on every Tuesday and Thursday on um Sirius XM ninety six. And, and your T V show on B T. And it's called Assisted Living, comes on every Wednesday at eight thirty. Uh, on BET. Yeah. And uh, watch that because the yeah. second season he shot that shit in two weeks. So, <laughs> <laughs> you can see how great he is. Uh, Chrissy, where can they find you at? Chrissy Go Bang. Chrissy Go Bang. You can find her on the corner, Dick Teaser. Give it, give it, Penguin Blowjobs. <laughs> You know, the, you know what a penguin blowjob is? Blow There's a comedian, rest in peace, his name is Cortez. And uh-huh. he was on the first season of Def Jam. And he said he said that he told this girl, this hooker said, uh, for $50, I'll give you a straight fuck. He said, I ain't got $50. He said, for $25, I'll give you a half and half. He said, I ain't got $25. She said, how much you got? He said, I got $5. He said, for $5, I'll give you a penguin blowjob. <laughs> so he said, shit, $5, you can't beat that. <laughs> So she pulled his pants down around his legs and she started massaging his dick. And right before she put it in his mouth, she walked off. He said, What the fuck was that? He, she said, That's a penguin blowjob. He said, Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a penguin blowjob. That's a penguin blowjob. That's a great one. Wait a minute. <laughs> Tom, where can they find you? <laughs> Wait a minute. They know where I'm at. They know where you at. And of course, beating off in the VIP. <laughs> in the VIP. Beating off in the, the booth. <laughs> 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 Uh, and I'm always uh, you can find me on Instagram and Ocean Live all that good stuff also please subscribe 
to our YouTube page, Ocean Live TV. We can uh, uh, have great, you see the great people that's on this show. Uh, if you don't wa like watching great people, you can uh, catch us on Apple Podcasts, Ocean Live TV on that as well. Uh, and as always, we appreciate you guys checking in. Uh, Till next time, peace. Everybody have a great week. Peace out. <laughs>